New information on the threats against Plainfield schools today as students head back to class after the winter break. Police now tell us the threats are not credible. This comes after online threats forced the school district to close early heading into the winter break. Eyewitness News reporter Carrie Klein tells us about the security measures that went into effect today. Even though police say that threat is not credible, they are still taking it very seriously. And so that means in the meantime, students here at Plainfield High School are going to have to get used to much tighter security. And that starts with leaving backpacks at home. Purses are allowed, but they'll be subject to searches. As students filed off the bus and into the building this morning, they also had to empty their pockets of cell phones, change, and keys. And there were security guards at the door to to wand the students again, all of the security and the best interests of the students and making sure they're safe. Plainfield students are amazing. They came in, said good morning to me, uh, you know, told me to have a good day. They're ready to learn. They also, I just think that really are focused and paid attention because they did follow all the rules without having backpacks and following all the rules that were set in place. The majority of the initial threats did center on the high school and a specific student was targeted. The suspect created a Facebook page under the name Brian Kill and used that as a vehicle to launch violent and detailed threats, forcing Plainfield to shut down the entire district as a safety precaution a little more than two weeks ago, heading into winter break a little bit early. Since that time, Plainfield police have been working around the clock with the FBI to try and crack this case. It takes a long time to investigate these types of cases, so it could take, you know, six or eight months to find out who is actually behind this. That is something that the FBI and the other agencies involved I know are very, you know, experts at that. So how long will the tighter security measures remain in place? Well, the police department says they will re-evaluate those measures throughout the week as they continue to investigate the case and determine how long it's needed to make sure, again, that student safety is priority one. Back to you.